car end up underneath the. Uh, I hit gas instead of brake. I was mad. What you want? What you want? a call in reference to a uh, female chasing another female down with a vehicle and the vehicle struck a building. When we arrived on scene, the vehicle was in the porch area and the, the suspect was seen being seen by rescue. I spoke to the victim and she said they got into a verbal altercation over the vehicle. They weren't sharing it properly. They both are owners of the vehicle, um, so the victim got mad, popped one of the tires which made the suspect angry. They got in a verbal argument. She got in the car and uh, went to go run her over with the vehicle. It's here as proof that it's our car. Mm -hmm. She didn't want to hear that. Okay. She reversed the car. I, I made her come in the house because she was sitting at the computer. The lady kids next door was sitting outside and it's like she didn't even care. Reversed the car, drove up there, hit that lady apartment and then came up I got out the chair, but I would have still be sitting there. I probably would be still sitting there, can't move. And she ran up on the porch. We talked to witnesses. Um, the witnesses advised the, the vehicle came in first, looped around, actually clipped another apartment that's connected to the duplex, hit that, came around again, and, I, and that's when she actually went into, she didn't go in the house, but she made contact with the other pylon and the vehicle rested on the front porch. I spoke to another witness of the incident and said that she was angry and that it looked like she was doing it on purpose. Taisha. Taisha. Yes. She was standing on the porch. She now? was on the porch and she came up so Taisha ran this way. It was a whole bunch of kids sitting on this car. They all jumped off the car. Courtney came here. She ran over there. She came back and then Taisha sat, um, was like back on her porch now and she ran up to her car to the porch and that's when Taisha ran in the house. Okay, so was she trying to run over Taisha? Yes. Okay. All she right. was chasing All her right. in the car. Okay, that's why I gotta clarify. So right. I'll just stand outside and make sure that nothing crazy happened, but I didn't know this was gonna happen. She lost her cool. Yeah, oh. she did, but this like the second time this happened like last year when she burnt her with a damn iron. Driver of the vehicle didn't admit to purposely trying to run her girlfriend over. She didn't admit to it, but uh she said she messed up and she was angry. How'd you end up over here in this on this building over here? The car went went that way. How'd it go that way? I don't know. Like the wheel turned. Is this because you were angry? I was angry, but okay. the wheel had turned. Okay. What was your intent? Were you I trying to leave, or were you pissed off and you saw her I was and just to wanted leave, to scare her, she, or what? You no, know, I was trying to leave, but how am I supposed to leave with a flat tire? I don't know. You tell me. You were the one trying to drive away. Exactly. I'm a little confused. How? how you backed up into the road and ended up somewhere, somehow ended up side swiping the building over here and then pulled into underneath her porch where she was sitting. Right. I don't know, I can't explain it. You can't explain it? No? You just got angry? I was angry. The suspect said that the vehicle actually went that way. The steering wheel just drove towards the victim's house. How that made it twice, Going towards the victim's house two times in a row like that doesn't make any sense to me. So that's why we went ahead and arrested her for the domestic.